Welcome class of HC. Like this video on your way in and comment present in the comment section below if you are here to become the best version of you. Here are the five steps on how to have positive thoughts with the last step being the most important. So please pay attention. Step one, replacement. In this context, replacement is the act of literally replacing negative thoughts with positive thoughts at the moment of their inception. Think of this like a processing factory where the thought comes in as one thing, let's say a red blob, but after processing, it comes out as the perfect cherry cake. Actively replace your negative thoughts with positive ones immediately as you think them, as quick as you notice them. This may sound simple and even a little bit silly. However, over time, this process will prove to be one of the most effective ways to think positively. Always remember, your mind is inclined to believing anything that you tell it repeatedly. This is why if you tell yourself that you're a loser, you will be right. And if you tell yourself that you're a winner, over time, you will also be right. Therefore, replacing your thoughts with positive ones on a consistent basis will help to change your thought patterns into positive ones. Step two, thankfulness. Being thankful will be sure to help with positive thoughts because expressing gratitude is a reflection of inner peace and inner peace inspires the manifestation of positive thoughts. Express your gratitude by finding things in every moment that you can be thankful for. This can range from being thankful for waking up this morning to being thankful for having a special friend in your life thus far to being grateful for being able to have a meal at your table. Expressing gratitude makes your mind fertile for positive thinking. Think of this as if your mind was actual soil. Expressing gratitude represents the perfect conditions for the flowers of positive thinking to sprout and be manifested. Consider that in a state of appreciativeness, you are content and elated as opposed to rummaging around in negative thinking. Express gratitude and become the positivity that you want to see. Always be thankful. Step three, monitor your reactions. In this context, to monitor your reactions is to give yourself a moment to process your feelings and emotions when you are triggered into negative thinking. Simply put, when something unexpected happens, ask yourself, where do your thoughts tend to go? By monitoring how you mentally react to situations, you are able to question and analyze why your thoughts go there in the first place. And this way, you will be able to challenge or cancel those thoughts. For example, let's say you don't like when you are told what to do. Authority always leads you to feeling belittled, controlled, and unimportant, which triggers negative thoughts about yourself and thus concludes in negative actions. Monitoring your reactions would lead you to questioning, why does it trigger those thoughts? And then the closer you get to understanding the nature of those thoughts is the closer you get to being able to transforming them and thinking positively, consistently. If you dare to ask, then you deserve a chance to receive. Step four, accept change. Accepting change will be the difference between positive and negative thinking because adaptability is a key to consistent positive thought. To accept change is to understand that things may not always appear to be going your way, but to know that your thoughts have the power to uplift you from any circumstance that you deem negative. This does not mean to settle for unfavorable situations. It actually means to stop being okay with things that are not really okay with you. Stop associating being a good person with how much you're willing to suffer in silence with a mind full of negative thoughts. Accepting change is seeing a situation for what it is and then choosing to pinpoint the positive things in the situation so that you can use them to elevate and move on from said circumstance. Think of this like a video game where every positive aspect that you can identify in the situation is like a platform that you can jump on to complete the level. And with every new platform that you jump on, it is the higher that you get 
and the quicker that you can get to the top and away from the bottom. By being open to accept change, you are provoking the opportunity for positive thoughts and outcomes. Step five, finally, choose your surroundings. This is the most important step. Always remember, internal peace is a bigger indicator of success than money. And as said by social media personality, Andrew Tate, if the people in your circle don't inspire you, they're not your circle, they're your cage. This means that if you are surrounded by negativity and complacency, your thoughts are bound to be a reflection of your reality. Always be conscious that where you choose to spend your time and energy may not be conducive to positive thoughts. Consider that if the people you spend the most of your time with are negative thinkers, you are likely to adopt their patterns of thinking because of the amount of time that you spend with them, as well as the amount of energy. In the same way, if an eagle was born and raised in a coop of chickens, the royal bird will most likely think, chirp, and comport itself like a chicken, despite its potential. Although the eagle will look like a powerful bird, ready to take flight and explore the skies, its mentality will likely restrict it from those endeavors. It will most likely never take flight because its environment encouraged it to think and in consequence believe that he could never do so. Choosing your surroundings will help with positive uplifting thoughts because when you are around positivity, you are more likely to adopt that way of thinking. Always remember, to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains because real captivity is of the mind. Thanks for your attendance today, class. And before you leave class today, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on the class below. I'll see you here next time on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.